plans announced for events remembering the boy who was found in a Brownsburg pond. Visitation for eight-year-old Shalom Lawson will take place tomorrow at St. Malachi Catholic Church in Brownsburg from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And starting at 3, there will be a community celebration of life event with that family. They will be at, that will be at the community center on Pitt Road in Brownsburg. Lawson was reported missing Friday. He was found Saturday morning. An Indianapolis woman is hoping to get the attention of lawmakers tonight after the tragic death of Shalom Lawson. She wants to propose a law that would provide families of children with autism a tracking device. 24 Hour News 8's V Win talk with a woman about her efforts. V? Yeah, and Dave and Brooke, we met that woman um, the other night at a meeting for a program called Project Lifesaver in Hendricks County. Since then, she has started a petition to get more people on board with what she's calling Project Take Action. Shauna Lipscomb says she came up with the idea after attending a meeting and researching about a tracking device that could help families of children and adults with autism and other cognitive disorders. Since this device is out here, let's make it available to all parents who have, who have children that are autistic. She says she felt so passionately after learning about the death of eight-year-old Shalom Lawson. Her three-year-old son, Elijah, is also autistic. I literally get... Um, this unsettling sense that this could happen to my kid. Lipscomb started a petition on change.org and had more than 60 supporters as of Wednesday night. I'm hoping that together we, um, we get the signatures, we get the lawmaking um, people involved, and, and we start issuing out the, um, these bracelets. She says she's pushing for a bill that's similar to a federal legislation proposed last year, which would provide parents of children with autism a GPS tracking device. That bill did not pass in the U.S. Senate. I think if we work together in this city, that we can change some things that are happening here. Lipscomb knows it's going to take a lot of time and work, but she's not giving up. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep pressing and pressing and pressing until we see some things take place. Now, she also um, is starting a support group for parents of children with autism. The first meeting is happening at the end of this month. She says representatives from different organizations will be available to answer questions about autism. V. Wynn, 24 Hour News 8.